Hi, I'm Dr. Christiane Northrup, an OBGYN physician and authority on everything that can go right with your body and how to use this knowledge to transform your health and truly flourish. People often ask me, what medical tests should I get between the ages of 60 and 85? And I go for routine tests like colonoscopies and blood work and what, so what do you think I should be doing? Okay, first of all, routine tests based on your age and all that, you need to understand these. They're based on a mean of what society tells you usually goes wrong on average. Let me tell you the tests I think are worthwhile instead of getting in all the other stuff. And one test that is really worthwhile is getting your blood sugar tested. Why? Because all chronic degenerative diseases, almost all of them, are based on cellular inflammation. You know when you cut your finger and it gets red and it hurts? That's cellular inflammation. And that can occur throughout your entire body. And it's usually associated with blood sugar that's just a little too high. I want to see your fasting blood sugar between 70 and 85 milligrams per deciliter. Don't just go for, oh, it's normal. The doctor told me it was normal. Tell your doctor or nurse practitioner, I want the number 70 to 85. And after you eat, it shouldn't spike more than 40 points to 120. So this is one of the tests that's really worthwhile. The other one that's really worthwhile is called an NMR, Liposcience Cholesterol Test. This is way more sophisticated than the routine lipid profile. Many of you are taking those statin drugs and you don't need them. And they're associated with all kinds of risks like the increased risk of diabetes. Alzheimer's is considered type three diabetes. These things are all preventable getting your blood sugar normal. Cholesterol is not nearly as important. Now, a um, colonoscopy, yeah, there's probably good reason to have one of those, at least one maybe, see how it goes. I've written a ton about mammograms and thermograms and that's an individual decision. But in general, the stuff that's really going to keep you flourishing is stable blood sugar and a waist circumference that's less than 35 inches. Those are the routine tests I believe in. For more inspirational tips, visit my blog and explore drnorthrop.com where you'll find wisdom for body, mind, and spirit, including all that stuff I've written on mammograms and thermograms. Visit daily to discover the connection between your thoughts, beliefs, physical health, and life circumstances. And remember, your day-to-day -day thoughts and activity is way more important than medical testing. Use that as a barometer. But you're in the driver's seat of your health. Don't wait for your next medical test. You're in the driver's seat now. And you can make profound changes.